19 after 20 months of avoiding it. It's crazy. I'm sitting here just going through the motions here. I didn't remind him that it was my birthday because I wanted to see if he remembered. It was a lot worse than just a phone call for me. Uh, a couple hours after that, he tried to call me back, tell me happy birthday and make up for it. And that's the last time I ever talked to my dad. Records suggest that Cody and Robin Brown were in debt when the season was filmed in 2021, despite all the hype about money in Sister Wives season 17. The pressure is on Cody because Christine is one of the family's main financial resources. Is this the reason he urged Christine to use the money she received from the sale of her home to pay for the Coyote Pass property? Cody also made a statement about his son's sex life, and fans are outraged. So what did he say? Stay till the end to know everything. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Topish. We have some exciting stories that are full of lip smacking delicacies, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. Many of Cody Brown's adult children have chosen to stay away from him. Several Brown kids have decided they aren't interested in building a relationship with Cody any longer after years of favoritism and a lack of effort on his behalf. Fans of Sister Wives contended that the choice made there might have been wise. After Cody insulted his son's sexual lives in the season 17 tell-all episode, fans of the show are outraged. Although there may have been some issues between Cody and his adult children for some time, the coronavirus was the catalyst that brought everything to a head. COVID-19 Garrison Brown and Gabriel both objected to Cody's excessive coronavirus measures, and during the peak of its infection, both boys decided to go work out and see their romantic partners as usual. That, according to Cody, prevented him from seeing his children and their mothers. Cody doubled down even though the majority of the Brown family complained that his regulations and processes were excessive and much above what the CDC advised at the time. He repeated his assertion that his practices were appropriate in the Season 17 tell-all episode. He continued by saying that while his older boys wanted to get their pencils wet, he couldn't jeopardize the well-being of his younger children. According to a statement, Cody's sons were more interested in having sex than caring for the family's health. Fans of Sister Wives were outraged. After his antics in season 17, Cody didn't win over many fans, but the show's followers are now quite furious. Tell all viewers were moved by Cody's remarks regarding Gabriel and Garrison's request to see their girlfriends at the height of the pandemic. Fans of the show commented on Cody's statement on Twitter and Reddit, with many users emphasizing how disrespectful his statements were. The vulgar language, as several fans pointed out, was an embarrassment for Garrison and Gabriel and their comparison. So what is the current situation with Cody and his kids? Even though the season 17 tell-all episodes have only recently begun airing, they were really shot months ago. What is the current state of Cody's connection with his adult children? Cody continued to be distant from a number of his adult sons, including Gabriel and Garrison, as of the last check. Apart from the five children he has with Robin Brown, Cody hasn't pictured in months with having any other kids. He also was absent from the pictures that the Brown children posted from Logan Brown's wedding in October 2022. Over the holidays, Janelle and her kids were together. Cody wasn't given a pass, to be honest, and we aren't surprised. Moving on, let's discuss Cody and Robin's debt. Cody and Robin have unpaid taxes to their residents in Flagstaff. The married pair owed $2,056.89 in back taxes for the two acres of land next to their $900,000 house in 2021, according to the Arizona courts as reported by The Sun. They also owed $5,283.76 on their opulent five-bedroom, four-bath house as of 2021. Robin and Cody were given until December 31, 2021 to pay back the IRS. The couple ran the risk of losing their properties if they didn't pay the two bills. Cody has previously had to pay back taxes on his houses. Cody was also behind on his taxes in 2020. He was able to pay off both years in due time, nevertheless. The family suffered financial damage when Christine left Cody. Even while pregnant, Christine, Janelle, and Mary had jobs. While they were at work, Christine assisted Janelle and Mary in raising their kids. Christine was able to provide for her family's comfort when she was able to begin working from home. Selling Lulu Row and Plexus MLM to their followers, Christine and Janelle earned a small fortune. 
In the meantime, Mary manages Lizzie's Heritage Inn, a successful bed and breakfast that has brought the family a sizable sum of money in Parowan, Utah. Each wife looks out for herself and her kids separately, even if they all contribute to the family's goals. Robin appears to be the exception, though. The only woman who hasn't made a financial contribution since joining the family is Robin. My Sister Wife's Closet, a jewelry company that is no longer in operation, was founded by her. However, it closed its doors in 2019, and it's unknown whether she has another job right now. Christine must pay off the Coyote Pass land with the proceeds from the sale of her home, according to Cody. Therefore, Cody and Robin had to make do with one less paycheck when Christine informed Cody in the summer of 2021 that she would be leaving the family. Sister Wives will air on October 23rd, and Christine and Cody will talk about selling her Flagstaff house before she moves to Utah. Cody demands that the family receive the money from the house right away, and he advises Christine to use the proceeds from the sale of the house to settle the balance owed on the family's Coyote Pass property so that Janelle can begin construction on her house. Christine was obviously not on board. Christine sold her Flagstaff property in October 2021 for $700,000. She probably used the proceeds to purchase her new $1.1 million home in Murray, Utah, where she now lives with Truly. He's worried about money because of Cody's past taxes, Janelle's pressure to develop houses on unpaid property, and the pricey lifestyle he and Robin must maintain. Maybe Cody is pleading with Christine to stay since it will mean more money for the family. Moving on, Season 17 of Sister Wise has also revealed some disturbing information regarding the family's financial status. Some Sister Wives viewers think that Cody Brown is taking advantage of his third and fourth wives, Mary Brown and Janelle Brown, financially in order to support his fourth wife, Robin Brown. These four examples support their claims. Robin's $32,000 debt was paid off by Mary and Janelle. Robin had recently wed Cody in the Sister Wives season 4 premiere, and she carried a mountain of credit card debt with her. The family worries Robin's debt may prevent them from being accepted for their properties in Las Vegas as they get ready to depart Utah to escape the ongoing investigation against Cody. Starcasm claims that after the dissolution of her previous marriage to David Jessup in 2007, Robin assumed the debt. The outlet disclosed that almost $32,000 in debt was owed to retailers like Victoria's Secret, Target, and Sears. And with the aid of the family's resources, which were primarily Janelle and Mary's money as they were the family's main providers of the revenue, they were able to pay off Robin's debt. Robin and Cody's $900,000 home was purchased with Mary and Janelle's money. According to Sister Wife Season 17, Janelle and Mary handed Robin the earnings from their Las Vegas properties so she could buy the $900,000 Flagstaff home she now lives in with Cody and their five kids. With no assets to her name, Janelle said that the family's financial mistakes had left her in a stupid position. I give Robin half the money from my house in Vegas. Robin received $300,000 from Janelle for her house based on the price at which her Las Vegas residence sold. Sister Wives episode from November 27th included Mary revealing that she too handed Robin money for her home. Robin was able to purchase her home here in Flagstaff thanks to the money Mary received when she sold her house in Vegas as well. Even though Cody's marriages to Janelle and Mary aren't going well, he still wants them to pay off the Coyote Pass property. Janelle wants the family to give priority to paying off the family's Coyote Pass land so she can begin building her house while Cody and Janelle's marriage continues to break down. Janelle's decision to live in a fifth wheel trailer while she collects the money to pay off the house and construct on her plot of land infuriates Cody. Cody and Mary's marriage has gradually deteriorated into nothing more than a friendship for more than 10 years. Despite this, he still has faith that Mary, who runs a prosperous bed and breakfast in Utah, will use her hard-earned cash to settle the family's mortgage. In the most recent episode, he expressed the expectations that Mary would be one to construct Coyote Pass. He tells the cameras, I want it. He says she will therefore be working with us to fulfill our goals in this location, notably getting the debt paid off. Robin has always had childcare, but never had a job. Robin has never provided for the family with money except for her now-defunct jewelry company, My Sister Wife's Closet. However, since Robin joined the family, she's consistently had access to childcare, whether it be through live-in nannies or babysitters. I'm the one who hands the accountant the taxes, Janelle admitted in the most recent episode. I can check how family account funds were spent. She said that there was sufficient money available, excluding our daily costs and debts, and that was spent on other items, and that this money might have been utilized to pay off the family's property. 
Robin never made a contribution to the family budget, but she did say, you know, we've always worked together to take care of the whole family. Christine's home was purchased by all of us working together. For the children's care, we cooperated. These countless instances show that Cody and Robin have financially mistreated Janelle and Mary and depleted their bank accounts for their personal gain. So despite their lack of marriage with Cody, he's still utilizing the wife's earnings to fund his lifestyle with Robin and their five children. That ends today's video. Please leave a comment below to let us know what you think will happen next with these people. Like and share this video to stay up to date on their progress, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Topish keeps you up to date on all the latest Hollywood celebrity news, drama, and gossip. Subscribe to our channel and check back for new videos and updates, and we'll see ya in the next video.